What's up guys, it's Mike. Today I'm going to talk to you about the story at Union Cemetery. All this information that I have is from NESPR, New England Society for Psychic Research, Ed and Lorraine Warren's website. So the history of Union Cemetery. Nestled in the small town of Easton, Connecticut, Union Cemetery keeps over 400 years of memories buried in its sacred grounds. The cemetery contains graves which date back to the 1600s, but it's the unmarked graves which are causing the most stir. Inside one such unmarked grave is said to exist a young woman who passed away in her mid to late 20s during childbirth. She is the most told story of the cemetery and is known to be quite the prankster. She has been seen by hundreds of visitors and is the White Lady. The White Lady is described as having long, dark hair and wearing what looks like a white nightgown and bonnet. The White Lady is usually sighted in the roadway along Route 59. People driving along the cemetery have reported seeing the White Lady along the edge of the cemetery or traveling through the graveyard. This includes cops who patrol the area. One such incident in 1993 involved an off-duty firefighter who, when traveling home, hit the supposed woman, leaving a large dent in the front of his car. When he got out of the car to check on her, there was nobody to be found. Multiple police calls have been made in the middle of the night, yet the poli police come up empty-handed every time. When the Warrens investigated, the white lady was f photographed and videotaped on multiple occurrences by the Warrens. They, along with their team at NESPR, have documented each piece of evidence in their book, Graveyard. The Warrens also speak of the red eyes, a ghost with a pair of red eyes, mysterious eyes, which can be seen in the forest behind the graveyard itself. These eyes should not be confused with the eyes seen within the graveyard, which are two bike reflectors on a piece of wood and moved around by locals to scare teens. The eyes belong to Earl Kellogg, a man who was set afire across the street and burned to death in 1935. The graveyard seems light and friendly during the day, but if you bring a camera during dusk and evening, you are almost guaranteed to get some orbs and EVPs, or maybe more. Just make sure to stay outside the cemetery as it's off limits once the sun goes down, with police constantly patrolling the area. So you guys heard it here first. That's the briefing and the story about Union Cemetery. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick update, a quick little video on Union Cemetery and some of the most haunted places that I've personally been to. I actually have seen the white lady with my own two eyes and have caught her on camera. Unfortunately, I don't have access to that camera hey, footage anymore. But in general, guys, once again, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more. Cheers, much love, and ciao. Peace.